think the main thing I love is just waking up and being able to do what I love to do and get paid for it as well, you know, it's like, it's like a bonus. And another thing I'd say I love is like being in a position like me, I can influence a lot of people positively, you know, um, and it just shows that if you work hard, you can be whatever you want. I, I like to say that I have that kind of influence on younger players, you know, coming from where I come from. So those are the main things I probably like the most about being a footballer. Is that your robotic answer? Is that no, that's, it, that's actually <laughs> the truth. Yeah. That's actually the truth. Yeah. Uh, right, away from football, what do you do? What do you do for fun? What do you do like to do away from the training ground, away from the match days? Um, I live with my friend, so FIFA. <laughs> Literally, I come home, play FIFA. Um, might go out to eat once or twice in a week, but just literally come home, sleep, FIFA. Eat again, sleep. <laughs> it's just typical stuff. Like I mean, you're painting a picture of a perfect life. Uh, let's talk FIFA. Sleeping, yeah. Uh, let's talk FIFA. Uh, do you play as yourself on FIFA? No. Are you lying or are you telling the I'm truth? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Who do you play as on FIFA? What team? I use Barcelona. I use the top team. Like I'm trying to win, so <laughs> if I use myself, I'll probably lose. Like, so, but is I it not better it. to challenge yourself and pick a lesser team? to try and push your FIFA ability up? Nah, because no one cares about that when you lose. Especially my friends, they say you can pick a you can pick a conference team if you want. I'll pick a strong team. If I beat you, I beat you. They'll just say they beat me, you know. It doesn't matter what team you use, so I just go for the strongest team, Barcelona, I use. I'm quite, I'm quite good, so. Right, we're going to have to test that. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Next time we'll bring FIFA down here. Anytime. Um, so you, you play with Barcelona, so who's your favourite player on FIFA? I'm assuming Messi. It's got to be, isn't it? It's got to be Messi. And moving on to real life, real life, who's the best player in the world right now? Messi. Why? Messi. I was a bit, do you know what? During this World Cup when Ronaldo scored a hat-trick yeah. against Spain, I started calling Ronaldo the GOAT. Like, I was thinking, because I watched it, so I was thinking, wow, he's done this in the World Cup. I was like, no, nah, I'm Team Ronaldo. But then I came back to reality, <laughs> started watching league games in Barcelona and stuff, and what Messi does is just ridiculous, you know. Obviously, Ronaldo is a beast physically, but Messi, just his game intelligence and his touch, it's just, it's just different, so I'd say it's Messi. That's a good answer. Yeah. That, that's fine, that's real. That's real, I felt yeah. that. Uh, right, best, alongside that, the best five players you've played against? <laughs> best five players I've played against? I'll let you have three. Three. I'm going to say Kevin De Bruyne. When I was at Hull um, on loan, we played them in the cup and I played against him. I'll say Kevin De Bruyne. I'm going to say Harry Kane, even though he's not a defender. I'm going to say Harry Kane because um, I remember when I was 19, I came on in the London derby away at Spurs and I think he scored two goals that game and I was just thinking wow like it's a big thing so that's two and the third it's difficult I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Drogba in pre-season I don't know if that counts but that counts that's okay played against him in pre-season and he's one of my idols so I was just thinking <clears throat> Jesus this guy's a beast like and he scored that game as well, so I'm going to say them three. Nice. It's a decent three. You know, it's a decent that's, three. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad three at all. Uh, right, uh, I'll speed it up because I know you've got to go. Um, two more questions. Best three stadiums you've played in? The Emirates. The Emirates. I'm going to say Tumba because of the atmosphere. That's the best atmosphere I've ever seen, Tumba. Have you been there? Not yet, it's, no. It's a, it is mental. It's the best atmosphere. Emirates, Toomba and Stamford Bridge. Stamford Bridge. I'll say them three. Okay, and final question is actually about the Toomba Stadium. Um, it's an amazing atmosphere, as yeah. you said. I've never witnessed it myself, but what is it like as a player playing in front of such a raucous crowd? It gets you going. It gets you going. The first game when I when I first signed for Pauk, like I had goosebumps. I was on the bench, and it was so loud. <laughs> and because it's like it's not closed, but you can just feel it. You know, you can feel the fans behind you, everything. And there's flares and stuff, and there's like big bangs in the Premier League. You're not allowed these kind of things, you know. So when I've gone there and I've heard the bang, I've shaken, and everyone's like, "What's wrong, man?" And I'm like, "What's that?" 
And then they said the fans. I'm like, okay, we're, we're not used to this in England, you know. You just bang, it's like a gunshot. And all of these noises, like, but it gets you going, it gets you motivated, especially when it's your own fans. Did it take you a long time to like adapt to that noise that you don't expect? No, it, it doesn't, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't. After one or two games, you get used to it. And after that, it's all right. Well, it's decent. It's decent to have that atmosphere at home because it really helps the team. And it's good, it's nice to see.